how are you doing? Okay, in this video we're going to head over to this little down drop down arrow here and click on account settings. Okay. Now the first place we come to is general. So here we've got my name, we've got my username, i.e. the URL that would bring people straight to my Facebook page, my email that I've told them I want to use, my password, whether I'm joined to any networks, whether I have any linked accounts, and the English and my language, okay? So if I want to, I can go and edit my name. I could put in a middle name, um, I can put in an alternate name, and then to change the settings, I just uh, enter my Facebook password. Um, my username, now I have, um, you know, I've changed my username once. It used to be Joe Barn 72 or something on there and then I changed it. So if, you, if you've if you only, um, if you've chosen a username, you should have an option to change it but only once. Okay, you'll only be able to change it once. Um, then you've got your email addresses. So I've put in email addresses here. I've got my Facebook email address. I've got my primary email address. And then I've also got like a secondary email address. Okay. Um, and there's a setting here that allows friends to include my email address in download your information. I haven't got that ticked. Okay. Then you can set your password. If you want to, you can change your password. This is where you do it from. Um, I'm not joined to any networks. Networks are things like if you were part of some kind of college network or something like that. I, I don't have anything like that. You can link your account to Google, Yahoo, MySpace. Um, so you can actually link your account if you want so that as soon as you log into one of those accounts, you're automatically logged into Facebook. And of course, here is where you can change your language. You can choose a different primary language. Okay. And also here's where you can download a copy of your Facebook data. All right, so this is if you've got all your friends and all the rest of it, you can go and you can download and it's going to keep all your messages and your friends and everything, all your activity on your page so that you've, uh, you've got that. Okay, next let's go into security. So you can set a security question that will help identify you. So I could go in here and put in a question, save my settings and I mean I haven't put in a question, that's one of the default questions they give you. They give you your city or town with your mother born, grandma's occupation, that kind of stuff, okay? Um, so if you write to Facebook to help or whatever, they can identify you and know that your account. This is a really important one, okay? Currently mine is disabled. That's because I was probably looking at somebody's fan page. I'm going to save the changes. Now, Facebook did say recently that this was going to become mandatory, okay? That when you browsed Facebook, you would automatically be browsing over a secure connection, Okay, what that means, very, very important for fan pages, guys, very important for fan pages. It means that if you do not have a secure certificate on your domain that you integrate with Facebook for your welcome page, people won't be able to see it if they have got secure browsing enabled. And when Facebook do make it mandatory, they won't be able to see it. So by using our templates, they're all fully SSL covered. Yeah. Um, so you're absolutely fine using our templates. If you decide to integrate on your own, then you will need to go out, do some research and find uh, and purchase an SSL certificate for the domain that you're using. There is another video about SSL certificates, which I will put below this video. Um, login notifications. So we, uh, uh, Facebook can notify you when your account is accessed from a computer or a mobile device that you haven't used before. Um, login approvals. So if you log in through an unrecognized computer or device, then you know I need to put in a security code to do that. Um, app passwords. I haven't created any app passwords. Um, recognized devices. I don't have any registered devices. I'm presuming that's like iPhones and iPads and things like that. And then obviously current active sections. And here at sessions is where you can deactivate your accounts. If you don't want this account live anymore, it's from within here where you can press deactivate. Okay, notifications are email notifications. Uh, it's where Facebook will um, send, send you emails on different things and also notifications that come up here under this little notifications button up here. So it tells you the notifications you had today, notifications you had this week, and then all the different notifications that you've said yes you would like. All right, so you can choose. If I go into edit here, then I can choose to receive email notifications when somebody's tagged me on my profile, when somebody's tagged me in a post, that kind of stuff. So you can go through here and you can decide what you do or you don't want to be notified about. Okay. 
this is your apps button so this tells you all of the apps that you've authorized you know that little request for permission box comes up and says do you request you know does um this app will be accessing your information etc are you happy with that and you click yes accept so these are all the apps that i've said yes to and you can edit these apps i can click into here say edit on this one and this app can access my basic information the last data access who can see posts and activity from this app on Facebook? So if they post or do any activity on my wall, who can see it? Just friends or public or a list or whatever, okay? And of course, I can delete the app. So I can just click on that button there and I can decide that I just want to get rid of the app, okay? Um, this is where you'd connect your mobile phone. This is your payment section. So when you set up your credits and your payments for Facebook ads and things like that, and then that's just some general information about... Um, Facebook ads and how your photos and images and things like that are used okay so this is where these, these are kind of your general account settings in here um, and then we will I'm going to stop the video there because in the next video we're going to head over here oh, and go to privacy settings and we'll run through all our privacy settings so I'll see you in the next video